thought this would make a nice little clip. I've just been trying to put um, that pack up there and it actually seems to be sitting there quite nicely. It's not really stressing it too much and it doesn't seem to be pulling it off the wall greatly so I think I'm gonna have to just fill up, populate all the screw holes obviously. I've put a heap of in so it holds it to the wall better but I think that's actually gonna work and I definitely think I can put the other 20 cell or maybe maybe 17 cells up here just leave three a gap of three cells here so and then I can populate that out with the rest of the cells so I can have almost an 80 and I almost a 160 cell pack I think that's gonna work but more interestingly I thought I would um, balance these cells while I was mess assing around you know I've got the bathroom stuff on there doing its thing but I thought I'd, I want to actually get the old clamp meter and whack it on there. So the direction is pointing downwards, so it's obviously not that much there. 0.6 of an amp, 0.2 of an amp, 0.3 and a half amp, I think. That's 5 and a half, 10 amps. And now that one there was pushing 17.9 amps just a few minutes ago. So um, the direction is facing that way. So we're going down this, this end of the pack. So it's transferring energy from those cells there to those cells there, I think. I think that's the way I read it. Energy going that way and it's in positive. So anyway, it doesn't matter. So that was actually the difference. Those seven there were the top bottom cells and those seven there were the top cells. So if we keep going along, six amps three amps we'll keep the same direction one amp one amp 0 0.6 0 0.2 there you go okay it took about two or so more days i reckon and they were balancing at 0 0.02 of an amp still so i've got the the top ones back up there now i have progressed a little bit further with this thought i have done what i said i was going to do earlier in the video and added another 17 cells there and it works really really well there it's pushing that one up just a little bit but i think with a bit of creative bending we might be able to counteract that a little bit and there doesn't seem to be any flexing of that bottom mount so I think we are good. Like I said earlier, the only thing that I'm worried about is weight. Now, one of these is, I think, 7.2 kilos. Let's just do that quickly. 7.5 kilos. So it's going to be, what, uh, about 50, 50 kilos per seven cells. And I think that's going to be the limit. Now, I did explore the idea of going, so that one... That one is, um, what's that, 20 by 8, and, th and this one is 20 by 10, so it's slightly bigger, and I did explore the idea, and if I put this up the right way around, of going even, of going even bigger again, but I think those extra cells are going to, that's going to add up to, you now if I go back here and add another 20 cells on top, and another two holders, add 20 cells on top another two holders pick it so that brings it up to 9.3 kilos so that brings up a 7s pack around the 70 kilo mark i don't maths we all know this so i think that is going to be too big the 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 chances of it actually tearing these screws out and the whole lot ending up on the floor is going to be i think too much of a risk um now I'm gonna now I've got to work out the bus bars because I want the bus bars to come out the same. I want them to be exactly the same as here. So I'm gonna have to work out how I can do the bus bars. Now if you have a look at Mike Nacko's um, last video, so what I'm doing is I got this 0 0.15 millimeter nickel strip. Um, I bought that from Keith's store, and then I did groups of five cells. So you'll see each row has five cells, and then it stops here, and then there's five more cells, and then it stops here, and then there's five more cells. Um, and then for the bus bar, I did 4 gauge copper wire. It's just twisted THHN, I believe it is. So or video that he did, he's done some very big packs, I think 300p maybe even. Um, and he's done nickel strip and then just soldered one fuse to the bus bar. And I like that idea, so I think I'm going to copy him. 
making the bus bars basically all that I do is use some of the old uh, outer of the the copper wire that we use and then use that to run it round. now all that I do is I just use a what do you call it plastic mount and then just drive some little nails through each each place where you want it to turn and then it's exactly where you need it to be and of course then I lay it out like this it looks really good and then I get the length of the actual copper bus bar and then lay it out so it works very very well um, this one is just zip tied into place so I can see how it works and you can see how I envision the nickel strip actually working now this isn't pushed together properly that's why this nickel strip isn't laying on exactly right but it's close enough for the video so that actually fits very very well so if I put the what do you call that lug on the end somehow with one hand there we go and if I put this one on top pretty much matches up perfectly and I can run as I upgrade I can just throw these in this into service of course they're not gonna be balanced but it doesn't matter as long as I don't flatten that one and I can just add them slowly so I don't have to do them all in one hit. So there we go, tubers. That's a little bit of an update Well, where I'm up to at the moment. Um, there's lots of things happening in the background, of course, like I always do. I'm not filming anywhere near as much as I was just because it just takes so much time and I'm just really enjoying actually working on the project rather than trying to re record it all for you guys. So tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one, eh? Cheers.